Welcome to another new review and this one gonna be on Sanescro issue number one This is the new self-titled comic book that just started and launched from DC Comics I've been waiting for this to you know come out you know uh, like it was you know a pretty much a book that I was anticipating for because one it is written by Colin Bunn and damn you know I can't wait to see what he did on this book and the moment I started reading I was so excited about it and I was disappointed at the end you know they showed us kind of you know uh, Sinestro's uh, origins we saw him not with the corks for the starters he was in a cave fighting with his bare hands not using the powers of the ring we saw him talk about himself about some other stuff until this lady right here appears and her name was Lisa Drac and she's one of the Sinister uh, Corps and um, you know uh, she kind of was one of the most craziest uh, ladies you'll ever meet and she was trying to convince Sinestro to get back to the Sinestro Corp because there was this guy who's called Arkilo and he took the leadership for the Sinestro Corp and he's just you know uh, uh, sending more yellow lanterns outside and he's recruiting new people and he just you know uh, putting them all together and uniting them to uh, fight one common enemy and this enemy was the Green Lanterns and she just kept talking about it and let on see that uh, how the corpse actually costs uh, costed actually uh, you know Sinestro his family his uh, wife his daughter and a lot of other stuff we saw that there are these people who are trying to conquer the world and um, we saw that this lady right here she have uh, this whole writing on his on her uh, body I mean and on her tongue and everywhere and he, she, she's just talking about it and later on you see that uh, she's telling him something until he start to fear it you know he just start to fear uh, what she told him and the ring starts to charge and uh, you know just get him into his uniform and uh, we saw that there's a lot of stuff going on and she tells him that there are a few people of your own a uh, few people who were on your planet that they are kind of uh, still alive you know they're not dead yet so she, he was like take me to them let, let us uh, you know get them back uh, so the moment he gets in he searches for his people and finally he finds them and he was so pleased to get them back until he reaches to this rock and he finds himself uh, among uh, among all these uh, yellow lanterns and they're just looking at him because he turned his back on them he never uh, went back and some other stuff until uh, Arkilo this guy right here the new leader of the yellow uh, yellow corpse he kind of shows up with uh, the daughter of Sanescro and he kind of ho holding her as a hostage for some reason he wanted get back on uh, get back at Sinestro I don't know what's happening but uh, you know the relationship between uh, uh, Sinestro and his daughter is not pretty cool and that was pretty much for the ending of this issue this issue was pretty bad and pretty good at the same time I uh, didn't really like it I didn't really love it uh, the cliffhanger maybe was the best part in this whole issue uh, I don't know I just didn't feel it in this issue I'm just gonna give it two more shots or something uh, and see where is it gonna go I was really disappointed you know Cullen Bunn is writing two of my favorite books right now uh, you know uh, Magneto and the other book from uh, Marvel that Deadpool vs uh, Carnage so I was expecting more but I don't know what happened here the art was fine you know the art was good the coloring was good so that's pretty much guys let me know what did you think of this issue right down below don't forget to subscribe comment like share and see you guys around take care